What is good? We're back. Got a little bit of a long one on our hands from the last one. We'll shorten this one up for your pleasure. A little ranty at the end. We love you. We're going to talk about worth a first. We're, <laughs> we're, get, love you. we're getting into, uh, you know, the point of the season where you're contending, you're getting out. Uh, so I want to, I got some old guys on here. I got some younger guys on here uh, that are, you know, let's see where, what your first could buy you right now at this point in the season. Mm-hmm. Let's start with the older guys. And I think because I think it's a bit quicker of a conversation and you can kind of go through and uh, talk about what you would buy and what you wouldn't spend on a first. So let's go Derek Henry worth a first right now. Let's say you're top four team. Guaranteed, you're, guaranteed playoff contender. You're, you're, you're I'm for the it. most part, you know, I'm, I'm your top four three. right now. I'm yeah. seven and three. I'm second place, seven and three, seven and three, third most points, second place. And if, one quarterback, it's not even a discussion. One it's quarterback, easy yes, easy yes. Two quarterback, if I'm yes, I'm more than likely yes. You add Henry, who's the number you one running Henry back, so your you're team. already a top team. Yeah, because I just did this. You I'm, gave, you I'm gave a, one first round pick. One quarterback. We're the number one team. We're b- crushing people in points. We've lost one game. We're about to lose another game this week because it just didn't work out yep. and the other we lost scored. Godwin we got Nico back we lost Godwin we didn't have Nico for a while and we're still we're yep. still putting it on people I'd easily give that pick up for Henry yeah and we had two first rounders mm-hmm. so we we kept we gave away ours even better obviously so I mean Henry's probably the cream of the crop with the old guys right now as far as love it points available so you'd Done. give up the first yes I would how about let's go Alvin Kamara on the next one Saints slumping a little but since fire and Dennis Allen have found you know, a little bit of a, you know, rejuvenation. And how couldn't you? Biggest dickhead in the league. That yeah. guy definitely comments negatively on shit. Alvin Kamara, yeah. And he just got a contract extension. That surprised me from the Saints. And the, Push, and and they, 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 got, they, got, they got to keep kicking that can down the road. They're and, like, just keep signing these boys up and just throw, in, in a lost season where they got no hopes for the playoffs. I couldn't believe they re-signed Alvin Kamara Wild. in the middle of the season. That makes no sense. Still looks good, though. Still 29. Looks, mm. looks real good. Worth the first. Worth the uh, first? Yeah. You're paying the first? I would. PPR, one quarterback, yes. Same same argument with Derrick Henry. Two quarterbacks, like, I probably would I probably would try to stack up some other way to get him. I wouldn't probably want to give away my first round pick in two quarterback league in a super flex. If you got a later trade deadline, you know, this is week eleven. The, uh, Dynasty, you shouldn't have trade deadlines. Just throw that out there. No or, doubt. Or at and least completely after playoffs. Play. Well, you can have a caveat for the playoffs. At least you it's, can't yeah. fuck around Week in the 14 playoffs, is your trade deadline or, right up to the playoffs. Non-playoff teams can't trade with playoff teams. Something like that. Yeah, in Jay, playoffs. Jay, you're absolutely right. But, let, uh, you know, let's say your playoffs start, you know, they're 15, week 15, week 16, week 17. And if I'm doing that for, I'm, I'm probably trying to, if, if I'm guaranteed, you know, I've already top seed or second place team kind of guy and I'm, I'm going to make playoffs anyway, um, I'm probably going to try to really squeeze it to the last week because you don't want to give up first. We did this a couple weeks ago with Chris Godwin and he had just scored like three touchdowns mm-hmm. and I was like, hey, let's act like we've been here before and not give up our first for Chris Godwin this week mm-hmm. because you're not going to get it done. Yeah. You're going to end up paying a little too much. You're, the, the throw-ins are going to get too much and then let's wait to it next week. The next week he blows his ACL yeah. like or, or breaks his foot. You know, so like obviously way better than the ACL, maybe. <laughs> yeah, typically it is. But you know I, what I mean? So yeah. it's obviously, you know, you could give your first round pick for Derek. Derek Henry seems like he's never going to get hurt. But like you could give your first round pick for Alvin Kamara, Kamara this week fucking wood. and he could get that. hurt next week, you know. Right. So um, I, I would Kamara's do not generally hurt. I'm, I'm in. The, I'm in. No, I'm, he's not. I'm in for the first. I would like to try to do some twos and some swapping around yeah. and i did i played That's the game my first go-to i would give it up for henry and i played the game with the henry trade and was trying to get the third back and yeah. try to do all sorts of shit in there and just couldn't get and finally it was just like just first yeah. cut and drive Done. first bang Done. i'd probably do the same with kamara if if you yeah, know if i was trading in the same direction okay. how about joe mixon a little younger so even you know signed up for for the wide zone looking really good in it with looking the texans so good yeah gotta give it up gotta give it up right yeah and last year was crazy. I couldn't get a two, two twos for him. Couldn't, you know. There you go. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so would you guys be, if you're rebuilding, you're taking the first in all those instances, moving yes. on from these yes. old guys. Yes. Yes. Thousand percent. How about Terry McLaurin? 
just on a quick drive by Jay, if I'm the guy with Joe Mixon and I'm rebuilding and my team sucks, I'm trying my best. I will add something to Joe Mixon to get a bad team's first round pick. Mm-hmm. It really doesn't help me as much to get one twelve. Mm-hmm. I will take it, but I don't want that. Yeah, I want one six. I want one four. Yeah, that's a good point. I'll give you Joe Mixon in this in this scrub over here and and try to work. I'll give you Joe Mixon in two scrubs to a team who doesn't know they're that bad yet. The one four, the one five, the one one team's not going to give you Joe. Not going right. to trade you for right. Joe Mixon. Okay, good. keep going. Most he likely. is signed up for through twenty five. They have a de- they have a two million dead cap out after twenty five. So I did say Terry McClure. Let's. I had one more running back on here, so let's go back to him real quick. Montgomery. David. Okay. David. 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 Uh, if, you can't get him for a first, I bet. Um I want so more. My, it's not gonna be my go to, but I would I would give it if I had to. He ain't going nowhere. That team ain't going nowhere. That's twenty seven. I'd nowhere. give up the first if I'm right. I, I don't think I want to just re signed him too. Right. I don't think I want to give up M- Monty for just the first. But you what you you can't let him down on your roster if you're twenty seven. You can't. As he's a running back. So, you can't. Uh, ebbs look at, we're talking so about much. Henry and Kamara. We're paying a first. Sure, for sure. He's yeah. two years younger than Kamara. Yeah, but it's, two it's years good ago, right that, now. Two years ago, you might not have been able to get that for either one of those guys. Uh, you got. You, you might have got a little lucky on the comeback up. You can't just sit here and be like, oh well, it's, he's too good. He's too good. I can't give him away for a first. Like then, if your team sucks, your team sucks. You need to know that. Yeah. The last I, thing you want to do is hold on to Dave Montgomery or Joe Mixon or Alvin Kamara and have him lose their leg. Yeah, yeah. I got one more running back on here, Chase Brown. And that's kind of a little bit going the other direction. I don't, you're not certainly not like a, hey, I got to trade this guy because he's old. You might be wanting to trade this guy because you don't believe or whatever. Would you buy him for a first as a contender? Or are you just in general buying as a first? What are your thoughts on Chase Brown's value currently? Yeah, I mean, his ability to catch in his check downs, just keep that floor. So and make this floor and a ceiling combo. It's with Joe Burrow. It's with the Bengals. I'm in. You, you worry slightly what the, maybe they add somebody or Moss comes back or whatever, but it seems like Chase is doing enough right now to, to have the, the 1A locked down. Like, I don't know why you're why you would go back to doing anything else besides letting him be your, your lead guy. Definitely. I mean, if you want somebody that had, you know, if you want to bring in that 230 pound bruiser, every team likes to have a guy like that. I'm sure at some point either Moss will come back or they'll do this or that, but you can't like, the Bengals are at their best when they're spread them out and they're doing their thing. And with T Higgins on the field and Chase Brown, just his ability in the pass game and his ability to break, like you said, every time he touches the ball, it could go, Yeah, you know? So I just, I'm in on Chase Brown. The part for me, the problem for me is I think I've traded for Chase Brown three times mm-hmm. in the off season. Oh, sure. That you was, know, I've, so like that, that's that it, it's harder to, he was so cheap. It's so cheap. It's harder to buy it now. The, to give up the first when I was crushing, his uh, uh, acquisitions in the off season. Right. It's harder to do it now, but you know, it, on that offense with that quarterback and you know Jamar Chase out there, keeping having two or three defenders running around with him, Chase Brown's hard. It's hard for him not to be effective. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's move over to some wide receivers. I'll start with Terry McLaurin, a little older. I don't want to give it up. Tied to Jaden Daniels. I don't want to so, give up my so, first. So it's Terry best McLaurin. it's been in a while. Yeah. I, I don't want to give up my first for Terry McLaurin. Okay win now team competitive you lost godwin maybe <laughs> yeah um <laughs> uh, i'm with you i don't i don't i don't i don't you probably i don't think it's not worth it i think i think he could give you the production look i've got him in some some redraft leagues he's quinion mitchell uh, yeah for the eagles fucking yeah been lights out Great so don't don't get eagles. don't get discouraged by that he just all of a sudden isn't he's he, trash bro he's do you be, see this last week he's gonna be just fine mm-hmm. mitchell's <laughs> been outstanding yeah holy shit yeah um no i'm with you i i i, I don't think it's not like he's wide receiver five <laughs> let's, let's yeah mean. it's crazy but 55 overall whereas derrick henry was six overall and kamara was 18th overall right yeah, that's sure what. Yeah, so there's been a lot of wide receiver oh, injuries this year, and some quarterbacks that can't get the good guys the ball, et cetera, et cetera. I uh, Cooper Cup. We're yeah. the first. I'm not giving up my first. Yeah, I'm a two. I got twos out for Cooper Cup everywhere right now where yeah. I'm competitive. Yeah, making them say no. Yeah, I could give you. I could give you the two for Cooper Cup for the the late two, the championship type roster. My, I'm going to be. You know, I give that up for Cooper Cup and Terry McLaurin, but I'm not giving up my one for those guys. Hey guys, a quick reminder to head over to patreon.com slash the FF Dynasty to sign up for a free membership to get access to the free Discord channel. 
Or hit your boys with the $5 holler and get access to extra shows, mock drafts, roster reviews, ADP, and player pages. All for your pleasure. Let's keep it moving. How about Josh Downs? Man. This doesn't have to be a win now move, really. No, it does not. I, can I, can I, is well, there some Dynasty Daddy trade? Can I get, can, can, can I, at two twos, is doing it anymore? Can you believe that uh, Josh that, Downs like did well with it, the Richardson on the it, field? Is it not? Because he was taking is it Josh not? Downs' value. Do I got to give my Told first for back. Josh Downs already? I, I don't know what the Dynasty Daddy thing says, I'll but it's it just, I mean, he's, he's been up in the wide receiver one thresholds here and there yeah. and, and threshold drink. You just saw Anthony Richardson play a really good game, and and you know what we what we just saw from you know there was a great a bunch of good plays. He put he put the team on his back to get down there. Made some made a good throw to Pierce. Made a good throw to Downs. Here's, made a great throw to to here, here's AD how, Mitchell. Here's how I play my trades in a lot of these types of scenarios. If Josh Downs was in the rookie draft, where is he going? He's going before one twelve. I'll give away my late first for Josh Downs. I don't want to do it. Because I picked up a Josh Downs for way cheaper than that two months ago, three months ago. Now it's midsummer. Definitely, it's hate a bit all over it. the place here on the daddies. But he's worth it. Two and a three, easy. That's Trey Benson or Josh Downs. Yeah, I'd much rather give you my two and my three instead of the one. I just think in any any league that anybody's been having and playing Josh Downs in the sure. lineup, I don't, I don't, I, and I don't know who what these people are up to. I say this there. all the time about these trades. Yeah, I mean, like I mean, they're real there's, sleeper there's, trades. So. Yeah, exactly. But they're like, there's like, there's cr- a first. Brian Robinson, Josh Downs, Chris Olave for Josh Downs. Those are real trades. Like yeah. those, those are legit trades. Like you said, if you saw something on here where it was like two, four, a three, Aaron, and two. Aaron Jones or Josh Downs. I mean, that's yeah, a twenty-nine that's not year real. old running back. That's, that's not real. It's Josh he's Downs great. All day. But Josh Downs yeah. all day. Yeah, I like. All right. So how about on the other side, Pittman? You give up the first for Pittman, twenty-seven years old, still good. Definitely hurt this year. But I, I, yeah. other than that, has been just that's outstanding of just being a perennial all star. There, there's your you buy. Don't have to. There's your buy low, sell high. Like if I'm looking, if I'm looking to win my championship in four weeks because we're about to be there in, in playoffs here, then I don't necessarily want to give up my late first for for Pittman. But somehow, like we, when I said something about maybe if you were making a move on Caleb Williams, you might not necessarily want him in your starting lineup in five weeks because they're driving through Murderer's Row. But like giving up, getting Pittman for a late first is a really good deal. But you might Pittman's not startable. Mm-hmm. So that's, there's your problem. Now he might be startable in a month. We don't know that. He was He's startable hurt. this week. He might not be startable. But I mean, you right. give him an offset, get right. healthy and a and a potentially grown passing concepts with Anthony Richardson, Pittman could be just fine. He's paid for that on that team mm-hmm. for a, another year or two. And, and obviously Richardson coming off the benching isn't going anywhere. Uh, you would imagine. I'm um, probably buying Pittman. I don't, like you said, I don't think you have to for a first. I just, mm-hmm. I just thought you could talk about both of these guys. Yeah. Well, you know, it just seems like right this second, Josh Downs is a much more consistent, startable fantasy football player. I've, Pittman's worth a late first, but if you're, trying to win the champion if you need if you're trying to add somebody to help you win the championship Pittman might not be that guy this stretch for the playoffs you is that make sense like you could if you're yeah loaded you might be you're not you're not buying him to 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 play him to yeah. start him you're buying him because the value's down and i think there's good i think he'll bounce back you could be like there's definitely different levels of just because you're not making the playoffs this year doesn't mean you're like a complete right. rebuild team. You might have had you might not have bad the, luck. Yeah. You might have had you could be out of the playoffs or probably not going to make it. It's conversation and not be like the worst team in the league. That that definitely right. happens all the time. And by, you know, if Anthony Richardson has let's just say three or four more good games, you know, before the end of the season, then then people are going to get a lot more confident on Pittman mm-hmm. and, and Downs you know, too. And, and well, and Downs, I think people are the confidence is certainly growing there. A follow up from from a from the last thing, and I was on my mind there, and it's real real. We're talking about Jawan Jennings in the last show. Obviously, not worth the first right now. But would you trade somebody like a hurt Christian Kirk right now for Jawan Jennings? Oh yeah, quickly. Which way? I'd take Jawan Jennings over the hurt. Christian How about like Kirk? a Hollywood? Uh yeah, I get yeah. I mean that that's a little bit tougher. Hollywood's always been a little bit higher price for me than Christian Kirk. And what if he stays in Kansas City? Right. Just, that's I just I just wanted to, but like, it was the one he's younger. Go, yeah, Hollywood could go Kirk, anywhere. Kirk's kind of old. Was so. it a foot injury again with Hollywood? Was it a no? Foot? It's a shoulder. Yeah, that's right. That's right. The uh, Tyreek Hill. So Tyreek Hill would have played next week. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, uh, T Not Higgins. Wrong. I wanted to go T. I wanted to go T here because I know Big Co hates T. <laughs> All day. I love it when T reminds everyone how good he's he been. Great is if when healthy this it's year. So good. 
So not this. You don't do it this week because nah, it was crushed. Sure. In a prime time game, in a in a game that was tight through. Well, it wasn't tight in the first half, but the third and fourth quarter was electric. Strong game. Uh, so he's more expensive today. Obviously, for T. Higgins and T. Higgins' his fan club, you don't want him to get hurt, you know, but just give it another game, or two, especially when you're not. I mean, they got the bye week coming up, right? Or they already had the bye week? No, it's this week. All right, so don't buy right now. So zero. You got a tough schedule. Yeah. It's not just about this year. With, with exactly. T. The free agency you know? coming up, he's going to be on Who the you want to get? Like, who's going to hit, you know, like T. Higgins in mm-hmm. the first round? Maybe half. Maybe the, yeah. I thought maybe it was a different schedule. I was okay. That's not, yeah, that's I not think, terribly tough. I, I think T. Higgins is. Pittsburgh, Dallas, Tennessee. Cleveland, Denver, Pittsburgh, but I don't think week 18 matters. So, no. I think T. Higgins is a strong pickup for his price tag before last night and in a week or two. It's hard to buy him today. Post blow up primetime. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Primetime games um, change everything. How about Chris Olave? Still worth the first for you? Because definitely it, for me too. 100%. Smash. Smash. Might not smash, have to smash. pay that, but no, you it? might not, but I'm just, we're worth it a first. In the, how about Jalen Waddle? You got to go get Chris. You got to send offers for Chris Olave tonight. If it's not, if it's, if you can get, do it without. A oh, first people are pick. so sour on him. He's been that way. He's been on every single week. Olave has been on. Uh, I don't think there's targets. probably more people that negatively comment on Chris Olave and how he's a bust too. Yeah. It's wild. Yeah. All right. I'll do some. Yeah. Waddle offers this week. How about Waddle? Waddle's just, Floating in purgatory right now. Floating. Yeah. Same. I don't think you got to pay a first for him at all. Yeah, which is crazy. He's worth it all day long. I do. But it's not even, he's on my bench. And, and Yeah, really, of course. I mean, he can't play, play him. Yeah. But it's there. I don't know what's going on. Buy, buy and Waddle. Don't, maybe not for a first, though. Um, Let's see. Uh, Ramondre Stevenson for Jalen Waddle all day. Uh, probably not giving up Devonta Smith. I'm probably, Jawan I'll, Jennings I'll and a Devonta two for Jalen Waddle. I'll mm. do that. Juan Jennings in a two for Waddle. What do you think about that? Interesting. Mm. That's a good trade. Debo Samuel for Jalen all day. We do that. Romeo Dobbs in a first for Waddle in a third. Mm. I might take Dobbs in a first. Yeah, I guess. It's crazy. Waddle. Um, all right. Um, Can't wait for Waddle to be awesome again. There's a two. This one's a little out there. What you got? Darnell Mooney worth a first? No. Okay, man, that's not the guy to ask. Yeah, well, he's, he's never like Mooney. I, but I, no, I don't, no I don't. I don't think you want to give up. I don't. I, don't, I mean, obviously, they just had a, the the Atlanta, had a bad game. Atlanta as a whole yeah. had a bad game. Had but. a terrible game. Had a stinker. Got crushed on the road. The, the 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 game was over in the first quarter for the for the Falcons. Currently, wide receiver ten. Yeah, I mean, I saw him get traded in a league for a, a second round pick this week before this before the game started. Uh, I thought that was a fun trade on both sides. That was what a was good it? Trade. Just a two, a random two. Yeah. Actually, actually, not a random two. A, very, a, a really good super flex. A really good teams two. It's like like a late two. I and I thought it was a good pickup. Twos all day long. I'd yeah. give you two twos for Mooney. Yeah. Yep. There's two twos right there. What's the worst case scenario? Penix comes in. <laughs> right. <laughs> Them boys said that Darnell Mooney is out there, basically calling the plays and telling people what to do from the wide receiver position and Kirk was like I've never seen anything like this I've never seen anybody do what he's doing really? out here on the field that's cool he just came <laughs> yeah. from Justin Jefferson he's n- no but Justin, Kirk did just, yeah, yeah 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 Mooney getting some getting some high praise uh, recently so but, like and, and it has, has cool. looked good he's, I did not he's know that tough to cool. guard out there They obviously they have Drake oh, London very who's tough been, to guard been outstanding so all right i think so that, not worth the first though not i don't think worth the first for me either a last wide receiver cedric tillman what's he worth worth the first i'm not giving you a first form i'll give you my 112 form right now i like it Peaches i like it cream. a lot i just i think i think you could go and make that happen now every team every league is different we're gonna say that every single time we get a chance to really get if we're really talking trades you have i to don't want to do that i but don't you think you just need to did do it, it didn't you i didn't give up my first i tried to give up two a two and ramondre stevenson was my first offer tried to give up that he said oh no. that's what it was uh, the, it uh, was three good Madison weeks in a row was. wasn't it yeah now, what do you think i was just fucking making that up <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't just three good weeks in a row. It's three fucking holy shit weeks in a row. Yeah. And then, you know, obviously not great this week, but the targets were still there. Uh, they, they got shelled. Everybody else w- uh, feasted. Yeah. I mean, Judy had the big play. Crush more it, too, right? Huge I mean, the, 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 what I yeah, like here crushed. about what Cedric Tillman's doing Joking is, crush. is again, 6'3", 215. He's only been in the league for a year or two. He's 24 years old. Like we're just we we could get this. This is this smells like Nick awful lot like Nico Collins to Love me. Love that. And it just obviously we don't know what the quarterback situation. He's not tied to C.J. Stroud for 
however long, right? Absolutely. Jameis is there. Obviously, they 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 might be the first overall pick. They yeah. could, and I don't know if Dion would let Shador be thrown to him, but it could be Cam Ward thrown to him. Yeah, you know what I mean. So there there could be some good options there for Cleveland. Worst case scenario, maybe it's Sam Darnold. You know, mm-hmm. whatever. I ended up. I said two twos. He said he said no. So I off ended. I said Addison. He said no. So I offered him an Addison and a two, and he took it. Mm-hmm. And now I believe in Addison. I'm not. An, that's not because I'm an Addison hater. I, I have that's, Addison. That's paying up. That's, that's a, paying lot. a lot. Yeah, it sounds like a lot. I have Addison. I like <laughs> Addison. I think Addison's good. But what the factor for me was is I didn't want to give up the one. I wanted to keep my one. And what you have with Jordan Addison is is just he's a great two, mm-hmm. and he has Justin Jefferson, and we're we have Sam Darnold, and then maybe we have JJ McCarthy, and I just. I just feel like what Cedric Tillman could possibly be giving you week in, week out is that 18 points per game possibility, whereas Addison week in, week out is, if 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 going well, is probably 10 to 14. Yeah, going well is 14. Right. But he's not going to be, he's not a 20 point a game I just, player. I felt like I, I'm, I'm, I'm going in for, I got receivers, I, I got a good team, I'm doing well in that league. I didn't need another receiver to add per, per se. But it was like, let me if if Tillman would have went out and had another good game this week and then had two more good games to end the season, I don't know if my one ten through twelve is getting them. It's a good point. So I was just like, well, I'm gonna go proactive. I'm I'm gonna buy in on this and and maybe it goes maybe for the next couple of weeks Tillman sucks. But yep. anyway, all right. Um I just I want to hit a couple tight ends real quick before we get out of here. George Kittle. Contender. You 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 get in the late first for him, tight end two. Just, tight end two. Just recently was tight end one. Can't make that up. Or he's tight end one, rather. Still. Still. I don't know if that factors yeah. in. Obviously, Bowers has had a huge game. They wouldn't uh, until tonight's game's over with. So they wouldn't. Tag. Tight end two. Yeah. 30 years old, 31 years old. What do you think? I'm very torn. Yeah. Because he's, he's, he's a monster, but he, he just plays with no regard for his body. Always has a cue. Yeah. Always, Always. has a cue. <laughs> Because he's always monitoring that he's, motherfucker. He's he's blocking like he's the best offensive lineman in the world. Yeah. And when he's catching the ball, he's catching it to run it. He ain't catching it to brace. Yeah. And and go down and like bend his knees where he's not gonna get hurt. He's, he's smashing. He's him. catching it to throw somebody to the ground yeah. and keep going. Yeah. Uh, he's all WWE all the time. Yeah. And he's always got a cute tag by his name. I'm gonna say no, but man, if like the tight end position, he's such a difference maker this year to, to help right. you win, right? Because yeah. we're we're down low. Like, you know, the yep. next two guys in the name on the list are Laporta and Kincaid. Would you buy him for a first right now? Like but yeah, then, I mean, but, uh, and then when you know the tight end premium? Well, we're uh, always talking tight end okay. premium, so we'll say yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, late first probably should be for all three of those guys. Kincaid's well, let's, let's keep problem. let's keep with Kittle for now. But I was just making the point like those yeah. guys right now are scoring eight points a game. Exactly. Kittle scoring 17. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big difference. Kittle. Yeah. Kittle's in there scoring like a top end wide receiver. Right. I say probably not. But I mean, you catch me in the right scenario at the right time. I might say, fuck it. YOLO this bitch. You get close to the playoffs and you think you can win some money. You got to do what you got to yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So how about Laporta and Kincaid? I'm going to put them in the same vein. Same deal. You know, I'm sure the reactionary of what we just talked about at the end of the last show that we did, people are probably like, "This was the tight end one and two and a lot of and some people's a lot of people's rankings moving forward for Why dynasty. Be? Yeah. So uh, if the opportunity presents itself, tight end premium. I mean, I, I'm buying both of them for a first. You got to, but I mean, it's not it does not fun today. Mm-mm. Not fun at all today. But that's a great buy low. But neither is. You know, putting that ten grand in the S and P five hundred and just forgetting about it for twenty years. You mm-hmm. know, obviously you need to put a lot more than that in there. But I'm just saying, like, yeah. you got ten grand. It'd be sure be fun to go to the Alps and go <laughs> s- let's go skiing and, 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 and you know, yeah. make a trip out of it. All right. Mm-hmm. You selling Kate Otten right now? No, Keeping absolutely him? not. Not it's, worth the first though. Yeah, he is. Where is he? All right. I didn't think I'd get you on that one. All right. Absolutely, he is worth the first. He's okay. worth, yeah. He's a gamer. K. Otten. Absolute gamer. I, I'm upset I don't have more K. Otten. All right. There we go. We're going to end on that. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below, five-star review if you haven't already. And if you haven't, what are you doing? You're freeloading SOB. Uh, Probably mad commenting. <laughs> Accurate <laughs> statement. Come over for the $5 holler. 
come over to the free discord if you're not on there we're back drafting we're, we're in the middle of drafts right now we're going to do some some draft shows here soon talking about uh you know where where guys stand currently there's a mock going on right now uh, we're going to do a three mock average here and probably over the Thanksgiving break, you'll, you'll be able to get to that. But, you know, you, you get a chance to hop in some mocks. We're going to be doing mocks all off season long. The FFD ADP will be back and you'll have access to that if you're a $5 holler member. Plus, uh, we got a lot of good stuff on the horizon over there that that uh, $5 holler guys. And, you know, we got a $10 holler coming your way here real soon uh, for your rebuild pleasure. All right. Until next week. Peace.